Y Center Boulevard Pat, Nate Gazai. Y Center half a day. Y Center half a day. Y Center Boulevard, Yeni Vietnam. This was a long time ago, they called the Rat City. Nobody wanted to live over here because it's an inferior place and the, the housing project and there are all those kind of drugs, murders, whatever uh, stuff that comes over here. I met a lot of people, they told me again and again that you know this is the worst place to live and uh, they also recommend me not to stay in Weissender, it's not a good area you know to, to, you know, to do anything in this area. We do have a drug problem here, we do have a gang problem here. When I was younger, I used to always avoid White Center. Because you just didn't want to have to deal with, you know, the problems that it was associated with it, which was the gang violence, the drugs, the prostitution. Like, White Center was a bad place. You can walk down the streets, not before you used to have to fight your way down the streets. It, it was a pretty bad area around here for a while. I'm thinking particularly of the 80s when there was a lot of gang activities in White Center. White Center was like the ghetto. Hello, my name is Sabrina, and I'm going to name you Sabrina because I'm not a girl. Mr. White. Guys, uh, uh, Mr. Green and Mr. White, and uh, they flipped a coin, Mr. White won. That's how they got White Center. The nickname Rat City rat meaning recruitment army training came not from an invasion of rodents but an invasion of armies white center has always been put down and labeled an impoverished ghetto place full of drugs and crime but people today only focus on the bad what they don't know is white center is a very diverse community full of potential full of active youth and leaders striving to overcome obstacles thrown at them because of the labels put on white center but times have changed and so has white center We've got a tremendous sense of community. Residents and businesses and um, alike are very proud to be part of White Center and love to call this community home. I think you can really build on that. Um, a tremendous sense of, of culture in White Center, lots of different cultures in White Center sort of celebrating um, their own heritage. I think White Center is the world. I think when you are in White Center, you see people from all different countries, you experience the mix that is the world. A neighborhood where there is a celebration of diversity, lots of different kinds of people from all across the world came to this neighborhood. In many uh, cases, their first home away from their, their homeland. It goes past there, you, you could punch out there, 20 people go past, every one of them talking a different language. That's great. I'm from 2000 until now, I see, you know, changes around this neighborhood, you know. I think White Center is a really, really interesting neighborhood. I think that there are a lot of changes that are happening, and I think they're all really good changes. I think the difference now is that there are people that will uh, take the initiative to address those issues. I think there's um, this tremendous sense of, of you know, potential of the fact that, that, you know, people are really excited about, you know, the future of White Center is really positive. I think there's more community involvement. White Center has so many things to offer to people. I mean, ethnic businesses, the food, the, the proximity to downtown is like 12 minutes. Um, you know, the schools is changing. That's going to create good schools. Um, you see that, that those are the things that they really want. Man, White Center, this, this is a place to be. Like, there's, there's a lot of stuff happening under the table. Like, it's kind of quiet on the top, but there's a lot of things stirring underneath. White Center, I think in the future, it's going to just be this place where everyone's going to know because of all the changes that happen, whether they be positive or negative, you know. But I think, for the most part, it's going to be a positive change in the future.
in struggling, you, you become stronger, and I think that's what's happened here in White Center. And you don't get that unless you actually visit, and you come and you experience the neighborhood, and you, you, know, you visit the schools, you visit the businesses, you, um, you know, meet the people who work in the schools or, or wherever, and you'll see um, you know, that spirit of White Center. And that's what I say. I say you have to come down and experience it. You can't just judge you know, from the outside. White Center is a neighborhood of people really proud of, of who they are and where they've come from because they've worked hard to get there.